All right. Welcome back to Single Player Party. This is a special episode that is going for fans of Rudy from Alpha Investments. Now, my normal whopping 180 so subscribers uh, probably won't know or care what this is, but uh, Rudy wanted these filmed for the opening, and I've got a hot take for it. So what we're going to try to do here with this is uh, we are going to try to break in and unseal his super special security device stickers. Now, there's a, another YouTube channel I follow that has kind of broken into things like this before. And we're going to see if we can beat the security. So on Rudy's Magic Channel, we do he does talk a lot about, especially the older products, reseals. So I figured, why not try to open this up and see if we can reseal it? So I am going to do my best to, before I see what I got in my box, see if I can uh, open it up. If it's crap, I'll just reseal it and, you know, push it along. I won't do that, but um, you never know. There could be a box out there right now that's resealed if this is successful. If this isn't successful, don't worry. You can buy them all because we'll know that these work. So um, I've got some uh, isopropyl alcohol and a razor blade. These are the tools of the trade for the stream I watched. So it's just in a syringe. Um, the sticker I watched be defeated um, was placed back on and then peeled off. And so you could tell um, that it was a legit sticker. So what I saw was not fake. I don't know whether I want to approach it here or here. This tape is already raised on both these sides and it's kind of intact. So I think I want to approach it from the bottom and try to break the seals here because there's a lot less material to raise up. I did a test because I was worried about what the material of the box was going to be made out of. A lot of these came banged up. Uh, this one's not too bad actually compared to some of the ones I've seen being been open. But um, I did a little test of the isopropyl alcohol on the back. And um, I believe it was here. And it looks, it picks it up pretty good on camera, but in person, you can't, it doesn't damage the box, which was my main concern. So before I even started doing this, I wanted to make sure that like, you wouldn't be able to tell that I attempted something. So here we go real quick to see if this will even start to work. So I'm gonna try to break into the Rudy, the Rudy box. So this might take a while. Uh, if you're just here for the opening to see what I got, you can probably fast forward to that. I don't want to make too much of a mess. So we wanted to get a liberal amount on here and kind of wait more of that came out than I thought would. So let's see here. We do want to wait a little bit to see if this it's going to work its magic. All right, it's all the way on the sticker. I don't want it on the sticker. I want it I want it mostly beneath the sticker. See, it just dries really quickly right there and then there's almost like no evidence of it, which is exactly what we want. So, first thing we want to do is see if we can get purchase. Wow, that is going in really easily. <laughs> That's going in very, very easily. So what the things at play here is going to be me being able to keep this, applying this underneath whatever's already naturally coming up and um, sorry, concentrating. And is it going to pick up the security pieces? So this might fall apart right away if I get to the first security tab, like the first security sticker that doesn't want to come up with 
with this. Now, the other thing that's going to happen is as the as this dries, the sticker will become sticky again. So I could run into a problem with just the size of the sticker while I'm trying to take it up here. Rudy wanted us to video these to see what we got, but um, you know, on that channel and in the magic world, we do care about this kind of stuff. Now, in that world, we're focusing more like on repacks. Um, the security stuff there is learned over the years and it mostly has to do with like the repacks and um, the type of um, seals and um, sorry also concentrating the seals and the shrink wrap on a lot of the booster boxes. So Rudy's an expert on the seals on the booster boxes. I am not an expert on sticker seals, but I sure am trying to beat this security here. Maybe I should have let this soak from the other side. I don't know how long to wait. I mean, this might not be working. Like there could, the security features underneath might already be staying there. And I'm like going over the, whoa, it's going all the way through. It's going all the way through. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Now I don't want to put too much pressure and cut the sticker there's plenty in there so has it cut enough and I don't want to I don't want to actually break that right there so being very careful very slow and deliberate and like I said I don't know I could have already cut through so this could all pop up in one big disappointment right now but now a moment of truth okay did not beat the sticker seal all right rudy's probably happy to see that but it is st sticky and tacky so I guess the real question now is, and I don't know if it's all over here because I definitely beat part of it. I don't want to scrape any more of that off. Because I do want to see what happens when I try to put it back together. Because I could still be beating it. It was loose. So the the part of this is, is raised off on the bottom lip. So now what I need to do is keep this piece folded down. There's definitely void stuff here that did not stay on there. So I don't want to pull the sticker all the way off. Because it's still sticky. So I don't know how I want to do this. Because I don't want it to stick to whatever I have holding it down. Maybe it won't be full. Down. That's good right there. Okay. Now let me go a little bit slower on this side. And see if I can beat. Because I don't have to do this perfectly. I just have to prove that with the proper technique and patience 
this kind of thing can be done. So I think I need to wait a little bit longer for the alcohol to kind of remove the adhesive. See, and it should just slide off. It should just be sliding open. I feel like if I'm even able to do this with one, oh, oh, the void sticker. I did not wait long enough on this side. Okay, there is a void sticker all the way. I see the word void, which I didn't see on that side. Brief hiccup, and I'm back. So, I'm going to play with this one and see what happens when this one goes back down. So, there is a there is void all over this. Okay, this is where we're going to say, I'm probably going to stop here with trying to break into it, but there was great success. There is the word void on this side, because when I peeled it up here, on this side, the word void started coming up right away and I, di I didn't have the patience to do it. I put on the alcohol, it almost started peeling right away. I came in from the other side and um, it went away. But I'm calling this a success. If somebody has the patience and a little bit, of, just a little bit of patience and a little bit of skill, you, you, can, you can beat this. So uh, the next step is if this goes down smoothly, Okay, you can you can read the word void there. Yep, you can. Okay, that's good. But this part, the part that didn't say void, went down perfectly. So, and it's sticky. I'm calling this a success because if you had the time and the patience, you would absolutely be able to get in there and lift up both these flaps, check the contents, and then don't like it, seal it back up. But we're not going to do that. That was just, you know, for experiment purposes. And these are pretty like janked up anyways so breaking the seal seal is broken and that's that's it it's all it's all done already all right let's see what we're doing here everybody's seen these videos already nobody's coming to my channel to be the first one to watch these so you get a lot of stuff and then the main thing i saw that these are really hard to get out but i don't want to use 
like the knife or the razor blade. So I almost want to, I was going to have a, another tool, but I forgot to grab it. So what matters here is finding one that ends in six, nine. So four, oh, eight. Twelve oh five. Those two came up really easily. Hmm. Wonder why people are having such a hard time getting these out. I mean, it's a little stuck here, but I just pushed down on one side and then it came up. Thirteen twenty eight. This one is actually the printing is a little different on that font. They're heavy. They're sturdy. Seven oh three. All of the unluckies. People only care if you get something good. 1425. And the last chance for glory. Twenty two seventy. Nope. All right, so we're just cruising down. This is the same for everybody. All right, got the, I don't know if this is the cold foil, but, and then a shiny equipment card, kind of jank. And then it's a collector's booster at least. Cool, so. I don't know exactly. I am, I'm only in a magic gathering. I'm not into um, flesh and blood or meta zoo, so I don't really want that stuff. But, and our reseal on this is really good. Um, I don't know exactly what card is the best from this set, so. Probably not good. Um, I don't know. Reflecting pool. Probably a good. Decent hit. And Duke. Older. He's probably not good. Okay. So that's not getting the money back. I want to just throw those in there. Let's see what the last layer is. Syndicar Rising, and this is like the same for a lot of people. This is a flesh and blood, so no MetaZoo Rudy Santa. Let's tape. Flesh and blood cards, so I don't know these. So, Prism Sculptor of Arclight. La Via, Shadowborn, Abomination, and Sir Bolton, Breaker of Dawn. Cool names. Very games of game Game of Thronies. So I don't know a car a cards, so there's like Godzilla, Mothra. So there's that. And then a Zendikar Rising Booster and Pack, which let's open it anyways. Oh my gosh, what is it that I'm on camera and can't open it? Pack. Skyhawk Savage, Scavenger. The, f the rares were in the front on these? That's interesting. Is this the set that had the um, two-sided lands? That's what I would have really needed. It's an interesting border. All right, so I got junk. That's it for this one. I think the main thing was that you could get past the sticker seal and you could reseal this. Of course, you wouldn't open everything up like this, but you could peek at what you got and then put it back down. I think the tape back here would have been easy. Um, but yeah, look at this disaster. And there it is. Thanks for watching.